Are you still vegan? Mm -hmm. How long have you been vegan at this point? At this point, I would say I'm three and a half years in. And for time reference, it's February 2021. Now, what's your definition of vegan? Um, my definition of vegan, I don't eat um, any sort of animal products or animal byproducts. Um, and then as far as other products, like day-to-day -day products, I try to use vegan products as much as possible. And how strict are you with your veganism? Um, with the products, I'm because not everything is vegan made at this point, um, it's pretty challenging. But like with the diet standpoint, I'm very strict about it. And what was the reason for going vegan for you? Um, I just feel a very strong connection to animals and what they feel and what they experience. That was the initial reason. And then the more time spent being vegan, the more that I've connected with them and felt them, basically. And uh, the more I learn about it, the more reasons to stay vegan. When you flipped the switch and became vegan, was it an immediate transition or was it a gradual progression into it? Uh, first, I started vegetarian. And then I one day just woke up and decided to do the vegan thing. And give me the process. So how long were you vegetarian before you started to do the vegan thing? I think I was vegetarian maybe mm, four or five months before vegan. And somebody that might not be familiar with the phrase vegetarian, what was your eating process during that phase? Or Just no meat. So I could still have products that had animal byproduct in it. So that could be something that has like dairy in it, or that could be something that had like egg in it. Um, but after enough time and going, like now the grocery stores or even restaurants carry a lot of vegan options and vegan um, replacements. So eventually one day I was like, oh, I can literally just have exactly the same stuff, but in the vegan version and just decided to pull the trigger. And before you even went vegetarian, which led into veganism, how did you used to eat? Um, I, I, I mean, I didn't really eat a lot of meat. Uh, I've never really been like a meat eater. I kind of did, I guess, when I went through like a super, super gym rat phase where I just wanted to be super fit. So I ate nothing but like chicken breast and spinach. And then I got out of that and went back to normal. When it came to being vegan, was that an easy or hard adjustment looking back? It was pretty easy. It was honestly like a really seamless transition. Did you have a support system with this transition at all? Um, I mean, I was living alone, and so I wasn't like around my family, who isn't, so it wasn't like a challenge. Um, nobody was like, ew, don't. Everybody in California, for the most part, is some version of plant-based, so. And a support system could also be a group of friends. It could also be maybe an online chat group or a face pay Facebook group or something of that nature. Just throwing out examples just in case. Well, now, actually, after um, uh, there's a group chat of all of my siblings on Facebook. And um, after having the conversation with our donor, I got on the Facebook chat and I saw a lot of my siblings are vegan and or vegetarian. Um, so I would say now I have more of a community or a support system of that, but before not really. And how did you learn how to eat or cook vegan? Um, I really just already knew how to do enough as is, and now just doing it with vegan ingredients instead. There's vegan butter, vegan mayo, vegan cheese, vegan everything. So 
literally just replacing the ingredients with a vegan version. Some people go to YouTube University. Mm. Some people get cookbooks, recipe books, uh, books on veganism. Um, some may even work with a nutritionist, a dietitian with veganism. Uh, so just curious if uh, that was in your experience at all. What about when you're on the road, when you're out of town? When I'm out of town, it's actually a lot more challenging um, because a lot of the other states or countries even aren't as keen to it as California. So it is more challenging, but I've, because I already just like vegetables, I'm just a vegetable person. Um, I've figured out how to get food and order, make my order if I go out to dinner or whatever, um, and get whatever I want in a vegan style, so. Ever cheat? I have, I have, but I didn't really have a choice. And I mean, I kind of did because you always have a choice, but I really didn't. I was on a tiny ass island in the Bahamas. There was a set menu and that was all that was on the menu. And the only thing that I could have that wasn't vegan was a salad. And so I would have probably, and I think I was there like six days. So I would have ate the same lettuce with nothing on it, but you know, like tomato, onion, cucumber, and a vinaigrette, not even like a dressing, literally just olive oil and vinegar, three times a day for five or six days. That's crazy. So I ended up having, I think like a vegetarian, they called it the vegetarian quesadilla. And it was like vegetables inside of a tortilla. It was very random with some sort of sauce in there. I think it was butter. I honestly don't know, it was a couple years ago. Sometimes I really don't have a choice. That was one of those times. When you're in a situation such as that and you do indulge in that food, regular food, um, is there a feeling of guilt at all? No, because I do my best as much as I can, not only like for me, but also to just educate people and like help my friends make transitions if they're interested in it. So to me, it's not about being like the perfect vegan who never fucks up. It's about being the best that you can and just helping to spread that. And um, fucking up one time isn't gonna ruin the world. Us not fucking up and just doing what we've been doing, in my opinion, is what's going to be what ruins everything, so. During the uh, three and a half years that you've been vegan, uh, aside from an occasional cheating episode, uh, ever relapsed? Ever um, went back to either vegetarianism or regularly eating what you used to eat before? No, I've never, I've never relapsed into meat, but like I have with that circumstance, with the island, or I think there was another time when I was like in Italy where if you've been to Italy, like there's not a lot of vegan options there either. Um, so I've had to go vegetarian at moments when I was traveling, but I've never, never put meat or egg in my body. Physically, what have you noticed, if any, with your body, uh, eating vegan versus vegetarian period and versus even before times of that nature? Physically, my body does so much better with a vegan diet. Um, like my energy levels, high. I'm like crazy energized all day. I'm able to focus more. Um, my body tunes up the way that I want it to a lot easier. It doesn't feel like sluggish. And um, if I'm, you know, adamant about my workout routine, I'll see the changes happen really fast. When I'm, before I felt like stuck. Like it didn't, it felt like no matter what I did, I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted physically or mentally. Um, 
so it's definitely like feels like it's 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 for me for sure and what about mentally mentally it's been insane i feel like a weight has been lifted when um i made the vegan vegetarian and vegan transition about almost four years ago now, around that time where I started really like changing everything in my life and it's helped so much. To not get the itis after I'm done eating, it's amazing. What about in relationships, romantic relationships with a um, significant other? Has that ever been a challenge? Being like vegan being and- Being vegan and them not? Yeah. No, it hasn't really been a challenge um, to this point, but now I think moving forward, um, if someone isn't willing to try it and doesn't make adjustments, um, to cater towards my veganism, then I think it would probably be a challenge moving forward. Have you ever, uh, been in a romantic relationship and gotten them to switch over? No, but I think the next relationship I am in, I will. And ever been in a romantic relationship or with a significant other that was already vegan? No. Nope. All in all, everything we discussed and talked about it, is it worth it being vegan? For sure. I feel like I'm really like living life how I envisioned that I wanted to live life. I feel like the discipline, um, the clarity has already been a reward, but there are also other things that I feel that I've been rewarded with when it comes to just being a compassionate person and like tapping into my spiritual side. Um, I just feel so much more in tune and like, I'm where I'm supposed to be, which is a good feeling. If you've felt that and you feel it consistently, you know it's like, okay, I'm doing life right. Anything else you want to add? I mean, I asked you all the questions I could think of about veganism. Is there anything else you want to add in this conversation that I didn't ask that mm -hmm. people may find of interest in veganism? Um, or a question people ask you about veganism that I didn't get a chance to ask you? Uh, a lot of people, I think, it, it kind of just goes over their head and they think it's insane. But um, the way the en energy transfers through everything doesn't isn't, there's no barrier, depending on if it's an animal, if it's the person you're around, whatever the case may be, um, the energy is gonna transfer. So be very conscious and aware of what energy you're surrounding yourself with, but also what you're putting into your body. Um, that was the majority of why I wanted to become vegan, because I felt like very, low for having another being um, sit in a box their whole life. And then I thought about the energy that they feel sitting in a box. If I were to sit in my house and never leave, and I was just confined to this little square, um, I think I would be pretty unhappy. I'd be pretty depressed. So then what happens if someone were to eat this being, that's kind of wild because I'm a person, but that would be crazy. And then that energy would then be transferred into that being that just ate that energy. And um, that shit's real. It's really real. I call it energy osmosis. So Anything be careful else? of that. Anything else in regards to veganism um, that we didn't cover? Yeah, if you want to do it, don't don't like pressure yourself or feel like you have to be perfect. Just take it easy, take it slow, take your time. 
Anything you want to say to somebody watching this about people that are vegan? Uh, we're not all crazy. There's, I'm not an aggressive vegan, so not everybody is like an aggressive vegan. You can be a normal person. I think a lot of people have this misconception that if you're vegan or if you're in tune, you're like somewhere off in space, sitting on a mountaintop, meditating all day. It's not the case. I live a very normal life. I still go out. I still party with my friends. Like, I'm. You could still be a normal person or a normal person by societal standards.